Bismillahir My dear students, I hope all you are fine. Welcome back to ICT class. I am Rishifat Rahman, lecturer, Department of ICT, Milestone College. Everybody, welcome to my today's class. My dear students, today I shall discuss bioinformatics from your book chapter 1. Let's see what is the content of bioinformatics topic. Contents are bioinformatics, software tools, advantages of bioinformatics, disadvantages of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is a science field similar to computer science, chemistry, biochemistry, biology, statistics, mathematics, engineering. From biological computation. Okay, let's see what is the bioinformatics. When biological problems are solved using computer technology, techniques and computational techniques, it is called bioinformatics. Software tools used in bioinformatics. What are the software tools used? Artificial intelligence, data mining, soft computing, image processing, simulation, algorithm, etc. used as software tools. Another tools Java, C Sharp, XML, Python, Perl C, C++, SQL, CUDR, MATLAB, Spreadsheet Analysis, etc. All those applications are used in it as a software tools. Here is friends, you know, nowadays very popular programming language, Java, C Sharp, Python, Perl, C++, all are the using these bioinformatics as a tools. Okay, let's see another tools of bioinformatics. Bioconductor, Bipolar, BioJava, BioAlabs, Emboss, Tavern, Workbench, UGENE, -E, and web based software are used as open source bioinformatics software. Let's see what are the advantages of bioinformatics. Molecular genetics makes visualization possible. Helps to preserve huge amount of repetitive and non-repetitive information. Another advantage is algorithmic data mining is possible. Pattern recognition can be done. So, if it has an advantage, must be some disadvantages. Let's see what are the disadvantages of bioinformatics. Disadvantages are, this is a very expensive technology. Requires a lot of money. To continue the project, buying this technology also requires a lot of money and is quite a complex technology. Another disadvantage are this could violate the confidentiality of information because medical and genetic information may be stored and distributed. 
another is genetically modified crops or pets can produce super species that are unnatural okay uh, i shall discuss the bioinformatics let's see a video clips all over the bioinformatics <laughs> Life sciences are gradually being dominated by big data. By 2025, it is expected that the genomes of one billion people will have been sequenced. In other words, we are likely to generate somewhere between 2 and 40 billion gigabytes of genome data within the next decade. And that's only the human genome data. Life sciences can nowadays also obtain measurements on millions of proteins, metabolites, and their interactions. To make sense of enormous volumes of complex data, interdisciplinary researchers are needed to combine knowledge from biology, computer science, and statistics, forming an essential component of modern-day life science research this field is known as bioinformatics. One place where this work is carried out is at the Utrecht Bioinformatics Center. Studying the right data can lead to truly groundbreaking discoveries. By analyzing millions of DNA sequence fragments through high-performance computing, we were able to bring to light new unknown organisms. By identifying the 0.1% of a human genome that differs from person to person, we can explain just why two people never look the same. And by predicting the structures of proteins in a cell, we are beginning to understand why some of us get sick while others live long, healthy lives. These are the reasons why Utrecht Science Park promotes the sharing of bioinformatics expertise and the combining of different disciplines. Together, life sciences and big data can help us address the challenges of tomorrow. Friends, that's all today's class. Come after completing your homework, submit to ICD teacher Allah Hafiz